to settle down in a crowd when it's this crowd. <laughs> but I tell you, we are looking very much forward to having full member receptions when it's safe. We will keep you apprised. Welcome, everyone. I'm Michelle Lamont, your board president. Beautiful, beautiful show, of course. We had 94 pieces entered, which is wonderful. And I hope you've all had a chance to take a look at the show. Joseph, our our juror here, boy, oh boy, he had a tough time with this, I can tell. Let me give the microphone to him for a couple of minutes. Let him tell us about what his judging was. Uh, it was very interesting. It's always a challenge as a juror to have this kind of show because all of the various mediums that are you presented with, from photography to um, sculpture, watercolor, oil, etc., mixed media. So um, it's it's a nice challenge that I welcome. I always love doing this kind of show. And um, basically, I have to look at each piece on its own merit and how it holds up. Uh, I myself am a painter for the most part, but I worked in a lot of mediums and sculpting and metal and stone and clay as a student especially, and then of course in pastel watercolors and so forth, mixed media. But uh, primarily I'm an oil painter. And uh, so every piece uh, has a life of its own and you have to try and understand what the artist maybe is trying to convey in terms of all the things we use, the elements that we use in uh, painting or in sculpture, that is to say, composition. And from there, we go into various other aspects of techniques and values and temperature and color or not so much color or whatever that's being uh, boiled down to in the case. Uh, and visual uh, techniques that go lay on top of the surface and things like that. So it, it, it's a lot of uh, elements that you have to take into consideration. And so um, I probably went through the room about three or four times. And, and I always take my time for the show because I think the artists deserve it for that matter. So um, I know what it's like to be rejected from getting into a show. And I know what it's like to win a prize in a show. So I, I run the gamut of A to Z. Uh, so I think without any further comments, I would say it was an exciting show, and the people who exhibited here had uh, every right to be proud of themselves, and I was uh, uh, privileged to be able to judge the show. So I think with that, we can start passing out some money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. We appreciate your time spent because, yeah, I would not want to judge this show. It's gorgeous, but oof, hard thing for me and the merit so all right when you come up to get your award we're going to stop right here and you're going to wave at the camera that's what we've been doing and then after the awards are over please give us a couple of minutes of time we'd like you next to your piece so we can take a photo of you next to your piece without your mask so we can see the beauty of you oh, all right before i start with the fun presentation part have y'all been keeping up with fantasy Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about fancy. We are currently in the process. There are 47 artists enjoying themselves on a deadline to paint 26 seahorses and 21 mermaids that will then be all over downtown Venice. Oh. It's wonderful. It's exciting. Myself and been doing my five foot seahorse in front of my shop window. So stop by over there if you want to see that. But if you're on Facebook, put in your hashtag Fanta C Venice Art Center. And that's Fanta F A N T A C S E A, and then spell out Venice Art Center. And you can see what some of the artists have posted of what they've done so far with their pieces. It, what fun we're all having. So Keep, keep, keep an eye out. We're hoping to have them on sometime in May. You'll start to see them show up downtown. And what fun they're going to be. They're going to be out for two years. So, and congratulations to all the artists and all the sponsors that are participating in this. It's a lot of fun. All right, so let's get started. Okay, the first merit award for solitude to Nancy Casey. 
Nancy's not joining us. Hi, Nancy. Thank you for your beautiful piece of work. Uh, the second merit award for Fluid Harmony to Linda Wagner. Come on up. I got to come on. Yeah, that's the whole point. <laughs> come on up, Linda. Is this your piece? Yes, sir. I recognize it from the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my shirt. Great shirt, though. That's right. <laughs> Come on over this side. How are you? Come over this side. This is we'll get you up. I know. How exciting. Well. <laughs> so I presented this, and then we made it the camera. All right. You're all set. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Next merit award for cart wheels goes to Steve Carr. Hi, Steve. Congratulations. Thank you. And a beautiful uh, photograph. Uh, <laughs> beautiful photograph over here, the large photograph. The warm tones, and I love the accent of light on it one uh, center wheel, and then the composition that just goes up into these beautiful uh, stone structures. I, I just thought it was a great piece. Beautiful contrast with it. Very nice. Thank you very much. It's a great honor. All right. So the next scenario award for the Tree of Life to our very own Suzanne Poe. Oh. Also, President of the Oscar. Congratulations. You have to wait the camera. <laughs> uh, this is her piece here, this sculpture piece. Oh, and it's, uh, nice. I have to confess, I had to touch it when I was looking at it because it was very tactile. It was, just makes you want to rub your hands across it. But within this uh, resin, I guess, is that what it is, resin? Right? Yeah, uh, she has all these uh, beautiful little things happening. So you have to take a close look at it. Um, it's a very nice piece. All right, the next merit award for Venetian Taxi goes to John Shaw. Thank you. Thank you. And for Beloved 
his mama. First place goes to Hodges Swap. Thank you.